Snap your fingers, twinkle your toes, pick your ear and drip on your nose. Prabhu Deva. <laughs>
there's animating lighter lighters right as well like people that take a scene like there was my scene header i hired a lighting person specifically to make it look like how it looked because that if you just film in a dark room it's not going to look like that nope these people the cinematographers are the people that who we actually praise a lot in in our in our stuff um are are some of the sometimes even more genius than the directors themselves correct <laughs> and help them bring what they're thinking of yes and to real life yes which is why they're so so impressive and you can see it sometimes here when they're just filming Prabhu and we can talk about him in a minute because he's just amazing um but like the you see him and it's kind of just plain but then when they go to the thing it's like this grand thing yes. the lighting's perfect and the lighting coming up on people that wasn't actually there yep it's, it's why it's why so many people like um so many actors in particular don't um, jump up and down over award ceremonies for their acting and film because they understand how collaborative the performance was. Um, a, a huge the editing, mm -hmm. the editing can can make or break a performance. So you've got the script writer who put the words in the actor's mouth. You have the editing. You have the makeup. You have the cinematography. You have the costuming. You have the lighting. You have the full production design, and then you have the vision of the director, and then you're acting. <laughs> So it is such a collaborative effort, and it does. Yeah, so and, much doesn't giving, giving credit to the other disciplines. It's unfortunate because obviously, usually when it's done well, the actor gets most of the performance and the director gets most of the, uh, yeah. the credit right. uh, for, for things. But it's such a, a collaborative effort, which is why we love film so much. If you haven't been part of like being on set or being part of making Man, oh, a, you know. a video or, or a film or a short film, or whatever, you know how collaborative that process is. Yeah, and, yeah, especially and how, well, and how it should be and how it should be. You'll see things, for example, the cinematographer and the director will get all of the credit, but there'll be moments when you're on set and the cinematographer and the director maybe miss something, but because they have a team that they trust, there can be other people who are involved in production who will point something out and say, hey, yesterday you were using this particular thing to make that light. Oh yeah, let's use that. It's, it is, that's one of the beautiful things about film and why I love to watch the credits at the end of a film especially a huge animated film because the number of people and even something as simple as this is no joke something seemingly as insignificant as the people who handle craft services mm. or the or the people who are just checking people in adds to the entire feeling of the set absolutely and how things are going to go on set yep uh and totally agree. when it comes to prabhu this again shows he's got what michael had in terms of this He's got that rare ability. There's clearly the work and the discipline because he's he clearly worked his butt off and has yeah. just and has trained and has done what he's done. But there is an intuitiveness to his movement that gives him lines that 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 Michael could get. Everybody could do the same moves that Michael did, but no one did them like Michael. And it's because of the intuitiveness, his the way his brain and his body connects and connects lines, and the way his head turns and goes down and aligns with the hand. He does the exact same thing. That he was born to dance. This man. Absolutely. This man was born to dance. And I was hoping he was, they were going to let him talk about <laughs> no. the, the inspirations from one the original, and then also the uh, the what he took the, to. Obviously, this this version was very Michael uh, inspired, and they were honoring Michael in multiple different ways. Yeah, um, I would love to hear him talk about his relationship with Michael. Yeah. Uh, so if there's an interview out there, I would love to hear it. And, uh, and I'd love to watch a film of. Just highlights of him doing choreography and talking to people. Yeah. And conceptualizing, even creating something. Yeah. Watching him create a dance. Yeah. It would be so glorious yeah, to see. It, watch, being on set and just watching him work. Oh, man. I'm sure when you were a kid, you got to watch Michael dance sometimes, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the fun thing about being able to watch Michael was watching Michael when he was in concert. The, the crazy thing about Michael in concert was how nervous Michael was before a concert. Mm. I, I, I remember the first time I went backstage, we went to just surprise him. He knew we were coming, but we wanted to go backstage and see him before the show. Like you would anybody before a show. You know, like an hour before the show, hey, we're here, good to see you, how's everybody? He was nervous. I remember leaving with my mom and going, Michael's nervous. This is the same guy who's been performing since he's a little kid. Like, why is he so nervous? And then after, the perfectionist, it was, how was everything? Like, shoot straight with me. Was it really good? Because I felt we did this. I felt we missed on that. I bet he's very much perfectionistic yeah. in that same way. Of it. I, 
I feel like we could have done better with that. I feel like we could have been more I feel creative like there. Most people, whatever artistic form you're in, even some non-artistic forms, you have to have a little bit of that to be great. Yeah, you have to have some. Never satisfied. Yeah, always Cause, striving. Because if you're satisfied, you're not you're not learning. One hundred percent. Kind of like what uh, Zakir Hussein said. Yeah, I I've I've had moments where I've watched what I did and thought, oh, oh wow, that that worked that moment. Mm -hmm. But as a whole, I typically don't enjoy watching yeah. myself do stuff yeah. because all I'm seeing is what I wasn't able to do. Oh yeah, and it's, it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, as a, as, as a performer, as I think most would say outside of uh, Ranveer when he's watching Symbia. <laughs> <laughs> That's true! He loves watching himself. He in loves Symbia. watching himself in that. Uh, but uh, most don't like watching themselves because. Mm -hmm. he, and it's, it goes with the relationship. You can see stuff that the audiences can't. Because there's some stuff in the header that I was talking to my director about that is like, there's certain moments in here that I, I, I can't stand because I can see what's wrong with it. Right. And she's like, no one's, no one else literally, literally no one like, yeah, can see like, that. And I said, that's all I, I see. Yeah. Is, <laughs> is, or, is, or even worse, when you create a character mm -hmm. and then you see it, like I remember when I saw Fagin, because mm -hmm. they had filmed it. Yeah. I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, that's, that's not who's in here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even want to look at that because yeah. who I see in here when I'm Fagin doesn't look like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it just, it, it happens and it, that's, that's a relationship actors have with their performances, but yeah. that's why it's amazing when people can appreciate it, uh, but you, regardless of if you do or not. Yeah. I, uh, that's, that's what's so amazing is that you, because you know, you know what went into it. They, yeah. the people they have no idea what went into it. They just believe this character that you put on the screen. Yep. Yeah. Twice yeah, I, I can't get enough of this guy to find yeah. out. If there if there him. is interviews, if they have to be subbed, please let me know. As long as they're not too long, I can have our subber sub it if they have some time. But if he's talking about his relationship with Michael and how how much, like uh, in that aspect of his his uh, influence, life, yeah, influence, whatever, please let me know uh, because I know he doesn't normally speak. I think he speaks Tamil. Think. I think you're he right. He might speak multiple languages. Yeah. Don't. Like everybody else but us Americans. Exactly. Please let me know.